hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is select kalio if you're new here welcome if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for stopping by today's video i'm going to be showing you how to make a very whitening face cream from scratch that is making it from the base up to the main cream this is my recipe i have already written my recipe down and i'm going to put that at the end of this the video so make sure to watch to the end now um, some of the ingredients i'm going to be using is omega-3 oil this helps to um, regulate the skin's oil production improve balance hydration it can also help soften rough skin dry skin and it also has a soothing effect on irritated skin we're also going to be using rosehip oil now rosehip oil contains a lot of fatty acids it can help with dry skin it is good to absorb oil it is it has an antioxidant um, effect and it also helps to carry products deep down into the layer of the skin we're also going to be using hyaluronic acid which is a um, humectant and a an anti-aging ingredient and of course uh emulsifiers um, that we're going to be using today now before we start as usual i'm going to sanitize my workspace now i'm not endorsing any brand here you can go ahead to use any form of sanitizer that you can find um, in your local supply stores or you know any alcohol that you can find around just to make sure that your products are well sanitized well um protected from any form of microbials and any growth of um, molds and all of that okay so here is my measuring cup and my measuring beaker and in this beaker i'm going to measure out my oil phase of our formulation now i'm going to be using um emulsifying wax we talked about some emulsifiers yesterday and you can refer back to your notes to get um the emulsifiers that we talked about yesterday now the kind of emulsifier now, you use sterile the kind of oils alcohol you use or will acid acid what is the final result thickener, of your it's product also a be. stabilizer and this can help the texture of your product at the end of your formulation it like i said it helps to stabilize ingredients in products and it also um, helps with dry skin and if it's used in a smaller amount it is good for every skin type which is why we're using this at a very small amount in this formulation you can also use um, cetyl alcohol if you want now i'm also going to be adding my soil lecithin soil lecithin is also a an emulsifier a thickener and it also acts as a humectant which helps to keep your skin hydrated it also helps in the process of cell regeneration and renewal which makes the skin healthy and beautiful soil lecithin is loaded it's a very good um, ingredient is loaded with beautiful antioxidants and ebullient properties which will help keep your products um, beautiful now I have talked about omega um, fatty acids omega-3 fatty acids earlier it is very very good for to heal the skin as well so even if you want to use this base cream for um, healing um, in products like to heal dry skin chapped skin eczema pimples and all of that it helps as well as well as rose hip oil now if you have watched up to this extent and you haven't subscribed please take this time to subscribe down below hit the notification bell so you'll be one of the first to know when i post a new video and also make sure you give this video a thumbs up and share our videos thank you now next we're going to use cocoon butter this is what cocoon butter looks like it's really really thick really strong and very solid now cocoon butter is a type of plant-based oil that comes from the seeds of cocoon tree and cocoon butter also has um moisturizing properties and it won't clog your pores which is why we're using it in this formula so you can basically use this base as your um 
for your body cream for your face cream as well in this case i am using it for a face cream so cocoon butter will not clog your pores it is frequently used to treat variety of skin issues including acne inflammations dry skin and all of that so i'm going to add them in here in my oil as part of my oil um, phase and this cocoon butter will also help give my cream a very beautiful texture very beautiful creamy um, creamy texture it also helps to boost the body's production of collagen and it contains vitamin a so you can you can see why i'm using all these ingredients if you use all these ingredients for your base you will not need to add too much when you're making your um your creams proper now because this product is a um i'm going to make this into a cream at the end i'm using sepi white ordinarily i will not add sepi white because it's a base cream it's a plain base but for this for the purpose of this video i'm making this a whitening base so i'm adding snow um sepi white powder which is an oil soluble powder in my oil phase so that it will dissolve or at least it will um break down for me to be able to add it into my cream okay now that we have everything in here i'm going to take this to my double boiler and then go ahead and boil it double boil it until it melts down before we can come and then you know start to create our emulsion now if you are not um, familiar with double boiling process you can check my youtube i have a video on how to do your double boiling um, process okay so while our oil phase is um, double boiling and melting down we are going to measure out our water phase now in this phase you can go ahead to create um to add your actives your um, water soluble active now remember that if you're making this cream from scratch from scratch it's the same process if you're making a base cream now if you're just making a base plain base cream that you will not use for anything else then you can skip all the actives that we're going to add here and just go straight use your plain old water and then create your emulsion but because i'm trying to create a cream that will help with moisturizing of the skin that will help to clear redness that will help to clear pigmentation and all of that we're going to add actives that will help to clear this. so we're going to add first of all we're going to add my alantoin powder now alantoin is an addition to anti-aging creams it can help to minimize wrinkles fine lines it can help with um to restore damaged skin it also is effective in um anti-irritations and it also protects the skin from the uv ray now alantoin will dissolve completely with a very high degree of um water a very hot water will dissolve your alantoin powder i'm going to um send you and put a note on um the boiling point of alantoin powder so that you don't have that white cast when you dissolve your alantoin powder and it, you also need a certain amount of water to be able to dissolve your alantoin powder now we're also going to be using kojic acid which is one of my you know one of my very best um um, ingredients for for hyperpigmentations and all of that it helps to lighten sun damaged skin age spots um, scars it, it helps in anti-aging um, it helps with lightening the skin it is an all-rounder it has antimicrobial properties it is an all-rounder now we're also going to be adding um, lactic acid which is an exfoliant which will help to pave the way for ingredients to penetrate deeper into the skin to act on what they are put in the cream for if that makes sense so basically this will not only help to reduce the uh, um, the ph of our cream it will also help to exfoliate the skin to help ingredients penetrate better 
now we're also going to be using a niacinamide which in this case we're using vitamin b3 now niacinamide helps to um, prevent water loss and retain skin's moisture content it also helps to increase keratin it helps with anti-aging niacinamide also improves the surface structure it helps to smooth out the skin skin's texture and reduce the look of wrinkles and it also helps to um, fade out um redness on the skin so if you're having redness especially here that i am in abuja the sun is really dealing with me so i have a little redness on my face so niacinamide helps to reduce redness and you know restore your skin's um tone okay now here i am using hyaluronic acid hyaluronic acid powder now if you have been in skincare long enough or you have been following my videos or you've been following other people's videos you must have heard them say oh hyaluronic is very very good hyaluronic is known for its skin benefit especially elevating dry skin reducing the appearance of fine lines wrinkles and also helping to speed up wound healing it can also help relieve um um under eye bags sun spots and all of that it is very very good it helps to retain moisture on your skin basically it draws moisture from the atmosphere leaves it on your skin to keep your skin hydrated now if you noticed i put the hyaluronic powder directly into the um into the water and it gives you a clumpy lumpy feel now to avoid this what you can do is add your your glycerin and help use the glycerin to mix your hyaluronic acid powder that's if you're using the powder form use your your glycerin to to um mix it first so that you remove any form of clumpiness clumpiness in your batch otherwise you have to wait for everything to dissolve properly before you can use it but if you dissolve it with um glycerin it will just help you know everything make everything very very simple Now with the powder, as you begin to stir, you will notice that the, the water becomes a, um, jelly. It becomes, it turns into a gel form. And that is a very beautiful process. Like I have been using hyaluronic acid, but I have been using the liquid form, the already um, dissolved form. And I decided to try out the powder and this has been my best, best ingredient so far for now right now this is my best ingredient and it helps to give your cream a very beautiful texture as well now our oil phase is back from double boiling it is well dissolved the sepi white powder has um minced properly so it's easy to mix into the water phase now before you start to blend or mix your product make sure that you're using a very powerful blender stick blender and then you make sure that your blender is touching the ground or the 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 bottom of your mixing bowl and then you start pouring your oil phase gradually and gently into your water phase while you are um stirring or um, blending with your hand blender now this is called an emulsion emulsion blender you you need a very strong emulsion blender to create a stable cream like i said earlier like i said yesterday in our class you can if, if you are creating homemade creams you have to invest in very very strong and very powerful emulsion blender because you need the strength from the emulsion blender to create the kind of emulsion or the kind of stable emulsions that you need it is not just about the ph or the um, oils and all of that your blenders also play a big and major role in the final result of your um, production okay sorry about that fly as in i've never seen so much flies in one place before as i've seen in abuja but i'm getting used to it <laughs> now after blending um everything together this is what your cream would look like now for this 
you are done this is a beautiful cream this is a beautiful um base i won't even call this a base anymore it's a proper cream because you can use this directly now now that we have our cream or our base or whatever you want to call this you want to go ahead to add your vitamin e oil and your preservatives and also your essential oils or fragrance in any case me i don't like to use fragrance at all i prefer especially when i'm doing face creams i don't add fragrance i rather use nice smelling essential oil which is lang 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 Essential Oil. Lang Lang Essential Oil is my signature scent for any of my products. So if you're buying my product, be it soap, serum, or whatever you're buying, you will always get that signature Lang Lang Essential Oil scent. Now, if you want to learn how to make your base creams, you want to learn about your ingredients, you want to get the basics of skincare formulation, then you want to get our ebook. And also, if you'd like to take your formulations to the next level and become a pro skincare formulator, you want to learn about advanced ingredients and other things, then you want to get our course. It is basically trainings that we have done that we can sell to you there are a lot of things that nobody tells you about in this industry so you want to learn more stick with me okay so here we are done with our um formula you just go ahead to mix everything thoroughly and make sure that you're not leaving too much bubbles now you don't want to mix for too long otherwise you create bubbles in your cream now you mix a bit this fly leave me alone now You'll mix a bit and then you um, stop to see, to check the product. Now, like I said earlier, make sure you are using a strong and very powerful emulsion blender. Now, the speed on the blender, that is the speed that the blender uses to um, mix everything together, will determine the strength or the um, stability of your cream or the color of your cream because the more speed the blender gives the whiter your cream becomes if your if your cream um, the blender doesn't have enough speed it will end up you know having a very pale dull brownish color regardless of the fact that i added um, a lot of colored ingredients you can see that i still have a very nice clear um creamy colored um product so that's why i say you have to make sure you're using a very powerful motion blender if you're using those white ones that they sell ten thousand naira, i'm sorry you will not get a good cream product or a very good um stable product now you can go ahead now and add your your product and then Okay, so I'm just going to scoop some of that and show you how nice and creamy this looks. Okay. I'm going to check the pH of this cream. This is a pH strip. This is what it looks like. Now, we are done with our cream. It is beautiful, but we can't tell how effective this cream would be if we don't test the ph of our cream now like i sent you earlier i like my creams to be around 4.5 to 5.5 on the ph scale that way i know that my cream is going to give me a very beautiful result so we're going to check the ph of our cream by um using one percent of our um, total batch and then we're going to mix it with distilled water to check the ph now the distilled water quantity can be up to two three parts of your base of the cream that you're using to mix so here i have checked and i am not satisf satisfied it is about um is it it's about six 
and i want it to be between 4.5 to 5 on the ph scale so i'm going to go ahead and add some lactic acid which will help to um, reduce the ph of this cream to give me the result that i want now this is my lactic acid you can use citric acid as well if you don't have lactic acid i don't have citric acid around me so i'm adding more lactic acid now because i couldn't find my dropper bottles i'm going to put my lactic acid in here just a tiny that bit of lactic acid just so i can control how much of the lactic acid i, I use because this has it so i just add tiny drops so i know good we're starting with one drop we're going to mix that and then make sure everything is mixed and then we're going to try again again let's see we're still we're leaning towards we're leaning towards this so we're going to try to add some more lactic acid in a small drop so that way that's how we keep checking until we get the exact pH that we need so we're still here so we're gonna try one more time to make sure that we get the pH that we need Can you see the difference? You can see the difference now. Now we are more on leaning towards five. Okay. So we can actually leave it this way and it will be fine. Okay. We can actually leave it this way. So now what we'll do is we'll come back to our, our cream. And then go ahead and add since we have we're more on five we're going to go ahead now and add our lactic add our lactic acid into our cream you can decide to add them add your lactic acid in small drops or you can decide to use one percent of the total batch of your um, formulation to get the amount of lactic acid you need in your formula this will help you um, get the accurate quantity but you can also just keep adding small drops small quantities until you get to the pH that you want I'm going to discard this water and then come back and test again then we're going to collect a very tiny amount of cream is about one percent of the total weight. Then we're going to add two. Then we're going to take our written paper and try again. Voila! This is what we want. Okay, so. This is between four and five, so it's like four point something. Okay, so this is what we need. This is what we are looking for. This is exactly what we are looking for. We're going to mix it thoroughly and then try again. You can buy this. Um, paper from us if you want. So you can see it's between four and five. And that's exactly where we want our pH to be. Between these two, it's between this and this. Okay, it's four point something. And that's how we want it to be. So our cream is pH balanced. So you don't have any issues see how creamy this is this is the most creamy <laughs> this is the creamiest cream that was done in a while see how nice 
creamy it looks. So, I'm going to store our cream in this beautiful container. Thank you all so very much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video i hope this video was helpful and beneficial to you now we're taking a break on our classes on our trainings because it is taking a big toll on my health and i have so many other things that i'm doing so we have decided to sell the training courses so we have trainings that we have done over the past and we are going to be selling those trainings to people who are available or who are ready to buy those courses and then read up and watch videos and learn and then you can come back and ask me questions on whatsapp and i will be very very happy to help you through um, your questions and then you know assist you as much as i can i'm sorry if um, this will be an inconvenience but this would be a better way for you to learn because you can now learn at your own time at your own pace and you know however you want to do it so if you're interested definitely um, leave me a message for details on how you can get the course i can't even begin to emphasize how luxurious this cream feels this cream is so luxurious like your high-end products cannot even stand here it's very smooth very very beautiful on the skin if you want to buy this product and other products that we have available you can check our, our website or you can send me a direct message on whatsapp to get any of our products please if you have questions on this um video and you are not my student yet kindly leave your comment in the comment section and i will answer them on the comment section so that we don't mix up things on whatsapp okay all right thank you so much to you guys i will see you in my next video bye